بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمد ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد The people of Iman in this journey of life have the desire and the ambition to get their life in this world correct. We have only one opportunity, we have only one chance. Every second is an amana, every moment is an amana. If a person does not look at every second properly, he will have regrets forever. A farmer was digging in his garden once and he came across a box. So he was elated and thrilled when he opened the box, he found some stones in it. So he thought, I'll pelt the crows, I'll give this to my children to play with. It's a nice uh, instrument, shiny instrument. So they pelted the crows, the children played with it. And eventually the entire box was depleted. And one day his friend from the city came to visit him and he said, oh, this looks like an interesting stone. So he said, why don't you go get it valuated in the city by a jeweler? So the friend said, okay, no problem. When I do go, I will check. So it happened that he was going into the city, so he took the stone worth, he went to the jeweler and he entered the store and he placed the stone in front of the jeweler. The jeweler first looked at the stone, then looked at the farmer, he was baffled, he could not believe it. And he realized also here's an opportunity, what would a farmer be doing with something so valuable? So he gave him an offer and he said, I will pay you a hundred thousand. So the farmer started crying. So the jeweler thought maybe this man knows about the value etc. And if people see from outside that my client is in tears, it will spoil my reputation. So let me try to give him a little bit higher value. So he said 200,000. When the farmer had this, he started crying more. The jeweler got worried that now people are definitely going to hear him and my reputation is at jeopardy. Let me try to give him an ideal value, something close, but I'll make still a lot of profit behind it. So he said, okay, my final offer 300,000. When the farmer heard this, he fell unconscious. Now the jeweler even more perplexed of the situation with the man on the floor, went to get some water, tried to revive him. People shouldn't know that this situation has occurred and I, my name shouldn't be spoiled into the, in the market. So after he regained consciousness, he said, tell me, you know, I offered you 100,000 and 200,000 and 300,000. I'm giving you now a good value at 300,000. Tell me what's What's your price? Okay, you give me your price. So as the farmer is regaining consciousness and getting his composure, he's thinking and wondering what's happening and then he says, it's not about the price. It's not about the price. It's about this box. I had an entire box of these stones. And I used it to pelt the crows. I gave it to my kids to play. I had an entire box. That's why I cried. That's why I fell unconscious. It's not about this one stone. So one day we will go in Akhirah and we will see for every second that was not used properly, forget crying, forget falling unconscious. We cannot describe our regret in Akhirah when we see for every subhanallah a tree planted in Jannah, if we read three times Surah Ikhlas, we'll get the reward of the entire Quran. Ten times Surah Ikhlas, a palace built in Jannah. When a person sees the reward of every good deed, I gave Sadaqah. This is what I received in Akhirah. Then there will be no limit to regret. 
So amongst the intentions when making tilawat of Quran, amongst the, the priorities of the people of Iman is hidayat. And we need to make a niyat of hidayat. And this hidayat is such that ulama explain the summary of the entire Quran. Forget the entire Quran, all the heavenly scriptures. The khulasa is in Surah Al-Fatiha. And the summary of Surah Al-Fatiha is Ihdinas Sirat Al-Mustaqim Ya Allah guide me onto the straight path. So the Dua of Hidayat, the Dua of Guidance. So Hidayat is a Na'mat, it's, 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 it's a favor from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. كَذَلِكَ كُنْتُمْ مِنْ قَبْلِ فَمَنَّ اللَّهُ عَلَيْكُمْ You were astray, you were in darkness, Allah favored you with Iman. So the bounty of Iman is a great bounty and favor. يَمُنُّونَ عَلَيْكَ أَنْ أَسْلَمُوا قُلْ لَا تَمُنُّوا عَلَيَّ إِسْلَامَكُمْ That does favor of Iman and Islam. Allah guided you لِلْإِيمَان إِنْ كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ Allah favored you with this Iman. So we have to be ever grateful to Allah Jalla Jalaluhu for this ni'mah of Iman. Nabi Alayhi Salaam told Ansar, Ya ma'ashar al-Ansar, Alam ajidkum dhalalan, Did I not find you in darkness astray? Fahadakumu Allah bi. Allah gave you hidayat. Allah guided you. So hidayat, we are asking for hidayat in every rakah of salah. It is necessary to read Surah Al-Fatiha. But the hearts are so dark, entrenched in so much darkness. At that moment, we should be the climax of our discussion and communication with Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. A person is not asking for hidayat. They are saying the words of Hidayat. They are just repeating the words of Hidayah. They are not showing and expressing the need for Hidayat. When somebody is in a desert and you come across someone who has water and you need to beg for that water, what ambition, what desire, what show will be put in front of that person to show that we are desirous of this hidayah and this guidance? So, like that, اِهْدِنَا الصِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Rabbana Oh my Allah, I, I need hidayat, my family needs hidayah, the ummah needs hidayah. So thus, person who knows he needs it will be asking for hidayat. Otherwise, it'll be just another formality. It will just be something that will be there for fulfilling the formality. So whether it's a faraid 17 times, whether it's including the sunnah, etc. 50 times with the nawafil, at least 100 times a day, the people of Iman are beseeching Allah for this hidayat. So here the word hidayat comes from huda. Hada yahdi hudan. So hidayat means irshad, guidance. It is the opposite of dalal astrayness. So in Arabic, they say hada hud tariq. So somebody is lost and you gave them direction. Bayyana wa arrafahu. You gave them detailed description to get to their destination. That is Hidayat. So that's in, 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 in the uh, basic terms. Now, when you give somebody directions, either you tell them 
This is the route. Go left, you turn right on the fourth left, you will find your destination. And more balir than that is you personally show them. You say, come, I'm going to drive, you follow me to your destination. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not only send a kitab, but He sent a Nabi with the kitab so that you do only not have directions, but you will have a guide to follow. And ulama give an example, when you buy an appliance, then they have instructions how to use it. Besides the instructions, there's also illustrations. Those diagrammatic illustrations makes the instructions easy to understand and to follow. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not only send the Qur'an instructions, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also sent the diagrammatic illustrations, the practical way of life of your Nabi, so people could identify and practice on deen more easily. So we have both. So dalalatan bilutfin. So showing a person the road, showing him so much so that you practically take a person to the destination. That's why in another rewait of Nabi alayhi salatu was salam is explaining that the road anan nadir al uriyan I am the one, I am the one that's warning you of the impeding. So I warn of us, Bashir and Nadir, giving you glad tidings of Jannah, warning you of Jahannam. وَأَنَا آخِذٌ بِحُجَزِكُمْ عَنِ النَّارِ Like a person who had lit a fire and the insects are falling to the fire, they are attracted. So the fire of Jahannam has been ignited and my Sunnah is holding you by the waist. The more you hold on to my words, you hold on to my advices, you hold on to my sunnah, the more you will be protected and preserved from the fire of Jahannam. وَأَنْتُمْ تَفَلَّتُونَ مِيَّدِي But you are slipping, you are still going towards Jahannam. So the sunnah and uh, the sunnahs and the adab and the etiquette and the teachings and the ta'aleem of deen is of priority. We need to stipulate a time to sit with ulama, to sit with the mashayikh. Maktab, the days of maktab had not terminated our ilm. We need to learn from the cradle to the grave. So a person is in need of this hidayah and it is a favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it such that we are seeking this hidayah all the time. And based on the need on dunya, Allah makes things available. So we do not need gold or diamonds to survive on earth. So we find that they are rare. Then a, a more needed commodity is steel. So it is not so rare, it is available because we need it, but we can live without it to a certain extent. But more than steel, man needs food. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had made arrangements for that. So the more the need, the more Allah made it available to us. So the, the needs of insan from the fish in the ocean to the livestock on land, to crops on farms, to even the fruits based on every seed, season, what nutrition your body needs, Allah has made intizam for that, made a system for that. Then if we look at more than food also, we require water. So Allah has made water freely available. If we look at the oceans, about 71% of the earth's surface is covered by water. The oceans hold around 96.5% of all the earth's water. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has preserved the system on earth and has made the water preserved as well. Likewise, the oceans Allah had made it salty. So we see the sea water is salty. And that's why they say in English, 
that you need to get vitamin C. And they've said that the uh, sea water is beneficial whether a person has hay fever, it will be beneficial for inflammation, infection of sinuses, it's beneficial for the respiratory system, for a person's lungs, overall well-being for the skin, the magnesium that is in the water, etc. It's the hydration, moisturization, but that's a topic on its own. So water. Even on land, we find lakes, rivers, etc. Then even a person has to dig a borehole. Allah is made under the earth services, uh, channels, rivers flowing beneath the earth, etc. So Allah has made water available. Then more than water, we require oxygen. So Allah subhanahu wa has made it where oxygen is available. And Allah has made system where the earth replenishes the oxygen that is used, so the ideal oxygen that is needed in the atmosphere, 21%, obviously we have 78% nitrogen, argon, carbon dioxide, other small gases, etc. But if we look at it, to keep 50 to 80% of the Earth's oxygen production in Earth, this is through the oceans. In the ocean, there's oceanic plankton, drifting plants, algae, bacteria that photosynthesize. So this process here and uh, just one bacteria which produces 20% of the oxygen of the entire biosphere. This is where we're referring to the, the algae uh, and one specific species which uh, is the smallest photosynthetic organism on earth. This specific species produces 20% of the oxygen on the entire biosphere and that is more higher than all the tropical rainforests on land combined. So oxygen is needed, Allah made intizam. More important than oxygen is hidayat. So Allah subhanahu wa made intizam a system for hidayat. And uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Anbiya alayhi musalatu was salam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the means for Anbiya alayhi musalatu was salam to come to people, likulli qawmin had that a Nabi came to every people. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose his best servants for hidayat. Thumma ba'athna min ba'adhi rusulan ila qawmihim. فَجَاءُوهُمْ بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ So Anbiya alayhi salatu was salam came with all the means of hidayat. And besides the Anbiya, they were the creation of Allah. وَاللَّهُ يَدْعُوا إِلَىٰ دَارِ السَّلَامِ That inna fi khalqi samawati wal ard. Just looking at the heavens and the earth, they are signs for people to be guided. Different people, different nations, Allah sent Anbiya and they had an option. وَأَمَّا ثَمُودْ فَهَدَيْنَاهُمْ They had the option but they chose blind to be blind of the Nabi. فَاسْتَحَبُّ الْعَمَى عَلَى الْهُدَىٰ They chose darkness over light. So when the Nabi came you got a choice. The Kaaba, the Baytullah is a means of Hidayat. Inna awwala baytin wudhi'a linnasi lalladhi bibakkata. Inna awwala baytin wudhi'a linnasi lalladhi bibakkata. Mubarakaw wa hudal lil alameen. So the Baytullah is a means of Hidayat. The Quran is a means of Hidayat. So Allah sent His choicest servants. Allah gave His house as a means of ayah. Allah gave us His words as a means of Hidayat. Shahru Ramadan alladhi unzila fihi al-Qur'an hudal linnas wa bayyinatim min al-huda wal furqan. So the Qur'an is a means of Hidayat, the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you see, we have Allah, kul a'udhu bi rabbin nas. Allah is for nas, for the benefit of mankind. Allah has made asbab for Hidayat. And the Nabi wa ma arsalnaka illa kafatan lin nas. The Nabi was for the hidayat of mankind. And the Quran was hudal lin nas, a means of hidayat for mankind. And the Kaaba is for lin nas, wudi'a lin nas, 
for the hidayat of mankind and we have been taken out for the hidayat of mankind kuntum khayra ummatin ukhrijat lin nas for the hidayat of mankind so we need to be checking ourselves all the time have i learned to draw this hidayat from allah a person once went to read Surah Al-Fatiha, he started his Salawat Khushu, Ihdina Sirat Al-Mustaqeem. He heard a voice saying, Kadabta, you are a liar. You are a liar. So he finished his Salah, he went back pondered, he said, you know what, I love my conversions, I love my Kaza. Let me get rid of it. He gave it in Sadaqah, he came, he started again Salah. Allahu Akbar, ihdina sirat al-mustaqim, kathabta you are lying. He finished thought again, you know what, I love my clothing, I love my watches, I love this, I love that, I love my bags. He gave it in sadaqah, again he started, ihdina sirat al-mustaqim, kathabta. You love your food, you love your delicacies. He went, he gave it in sadaqah, started again, kathabta couldn't ponder. Then he seen a mirror and he said, hey, you know what, I love myself. He made tawbah, he started, then the voice came, Ihdina sirat al-mustaqim, sadaqta, you are now speaking the truth. You would really desire hidayat. We need to check all the time are we doing this amal to show Allah that we deserve hidayat and we want hidayat. The amal for today is to clothe another Muslim, ma min muslimin kasa musliman thawban. You give clothing to another believer, illa kana fi hifdillahi. You will be under the protection of Allah as long as they are wearing that garment. Lam yazal fi sitrillahi. As long as that person has that garment on, you will be under the protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah give us tawfiq of making amal. Wa akhiru da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.